Hello friends, welcome to iExamVee's law channel LegalVee. Yesterday, PFRD's legal notification came out and we had a discussion about the exam pattern, about the eligibility criteria. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the cutoffs of 2020 and 2021 in PFRDA. First of all, let's have a look at the important dates. The online application form will start from 15th of September and will last up to 7th of October. The rest of the dates for Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3 exams is not yet out and will be intimated later. In the eligibility, maximum age is 30 years as on 31st of July 2022. In qualification, you need a bachelor degree in law. No experience is required to appear for this post. In the mode of selection, there will be three stage process. Phase 1, which will consist of two papers of 100 marks each. Then phase 2, which will again have two papers of 100 marks each. And phase 3 will be your interview. Phase 1 will have two papers. Paper 1 is Q, R, E, and G, A. In each paper, there will be 20 questions and each subject will be of 25 marks. There is no sectional cutoff, there is overall cutoff. Then paper two is your law paper having 50 questions, MCQ types, each question of two marks. Moving to phase two, again, there are two papers. Paper one is descriptive English and paper two is your law paper, which is again multiple choice questions type having 50 questions of 100 marks. Then the phase three is your interview. In 2021, there was no legal vacancy. So we don't have the exact cutoff of legal stream of 2021, but by looking at the cutoffs of other streams, we can have the idea of the range of cutoffs. Let's talk about general category for various streams. In phase one, there was no aggregate cutoff applied. Cutoffs has not been applied on the aggregate score. That means the total score of both the papers, that is out of 200, cutoff has not been applied. The cutoffs have been applied for paper one and paper two separately. For general stream, for unreserved category, the cutoff for paper 1 was 23 and for paper 2 was 17.25 out of 100. For actuarial, it was 6.25 and 9.25. For finance and accounts, it was 20.75 and 34.75. For IT, it was 26.25 and 22.50 in both the papers. For Raj Bhasha, 13.50 and 22.25. For research, economics, 23.50, 29.75. For research statistics, paper 1 cutoff was 18 and paper 2 was 22.50 for unreserved category. Here, if you see, the maximum cutoff in paper 1 was 26.25 and the maximum cutoff for paper 2 was around 34.75. So, we can expect the cutoff for legal this year on a similar pattern around this range only around the range of 35-40 in paper 1 and 40-45 in paper 2. So keeping this in mind, we have to prepare for paper 1 and paper 2. Now going to the 2021 cutoff for phase 2. For unreserved category from general stream, the cutoff for paper 1 that is descriptive English was 43.50 and for paper 2, 29.25. For actuarial, it was 23 and 8.25. For finance and accounts, 43.50, 58.50. For information technology, 43.50 and 34.50. For official language, 43.50 and 34.50. For research economics, research statistics, it was 43.50 in paper 1 and 39.50 and 40.50 in paper 2. This is the cutoffs for paper 1 and paper 2. The maximum cutoff in paper 1 was 43.50 and the maximum cutoff in paper 2 was for finance and accounts which was 58.50. In order to reach at the total cutoff of phase 2, weighted score was calculated. Paper 1 was given a weightage of 1 third and paper 2 was given a weightage of 2 third similar to what we see in the SEBI legal exam. So the cutoff for total weighted score was 60.33 for general, it was 13.67 for actuarial, 67 for finance and accounts, 54.33 for information technology, 47.33 for official language, 54.17 for research economics and 48.50 for research statistics. The maximum here being 67 in finance and accounts. 
so you can see here the cutoff for total weighted score is 67 and i think in sebi legal 2022 the cutoff was 67.67 so based on this trend and based on what we have seen in sebi legal exam over the past two years the overall cutoff for phase two will be relatively higher now looking at the final cutoff of 2021 the final cutoff was calculated by giving 85% weightage to phase 2 and 15% weightage to phase 3 that is interview just like what we see in SEBI legal. Overall cutoff for general stream for unreserved category was 66.90, for actuarial it was 58.05, for finance and accounts it was 77.26. For information technology, it was 59.45. For official language, Raj Bhasha, research economics and research statistics, it was 61.95, 65.72, 71.54 Highest being 77.26 for finance and accounts. Keeping this in mind, you should understand that since phase 2 has a higher weightage, you need to score good marks in phase 2 to get to the final merit list. Still, as there was no legal vacancy last year, we cannot say anything for sure. But looking at the SEBI legal from the past two years and also the cutoff trends in PFRDA for other streams, we can say the cutoff for phase two and phase three final cutoff will be relatively higher. There were legal vacancies in 2020, but in 2020, the pattern of the exam was a bit different. There was a change in the pattern of exam in 2021. Prior to that, in 2020, there were only two phases. There was one written exam and then group discussion plus interview. In the written exam for legal, there were papers on English, reasoning, general awareness, computer, quantitative aptitude, professional knowledge. And then there was a descriptive paper in which you had to answer four legal case studies. And the cutoff that year for legal stream was as given. The sectional cutoff was given for various subjects. For English language, it was 20 out of 40. For reasoning, it was 16.25. For GA, it was 7.25. For computers, 28. For quantitative aptitude, 11.75. And for professional knowledge, 19.25. The overall cutoff was 161.69 from 340. And then the group discussion and interview was held. No separate cutoffs were applied for the group discussion and the cutoff for all the categories in the legal stream was 269.73. However, this is not relevant since the exam pattern has changed now. There is no sectional cutoff as well. So what is relevant is 2021 cutoff of the other streams. From here, you can understand what has been the cutoff for various streams for phase one, for phase two and for the final selection. And based on that, you can plan your targeted score. You can plan how much you need to study, how much you need to score in phase one, phase two, and in interview. We have started a new YouTube channel, which is Legal B. At Legal B, you will find all the information relating to upcoming law exams. Legal B is your one-stop solution for all legal exams. So subscribe to our Legal B YouTube channel. Stay tuned. And we are soon coming forward with the PFRDA legal online course. If you are interested, fill the Google form that is attached in the description below. Also, if you want a combo course for SEBI, PFRDA and also NPS, then let us know and drop your comments in the Google form that is attached in the description below. Then only we will come forward with a course which will help you prepare both for SEBI and PFRDA. For any queries, you can call us on this number mentioned on the screen. You can also write to us at hello at the rate or you can drop your queries in the comment box below. Thank you.